Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the 1.8 update for Imperium Galactic Survival, which was released in June 2022, if you're watching this in the future. And at the moment, we're stood on top of the capital vessel overlooking the radar station, which is going to be the target of this part. Now, in the last part, we came down across the planet we, and we picked up a pile of thrusters from a capital vessel that was up here. And what I've done since the end of the last part is we came out to this other capital vessel now. And just to give you an update of where I am now, we come to building supplies. What you'll see now is I've got two large thrusters, 43 medium thrusters and eight um, small thrusters. So we've certainly got a, a large amount of thrusters. What I'm going to do with them all, I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm kind of half thinking that maybe... I need to invest in another a combat CV but there's also part of me says that maybe it's time to start thinking seriously about a mining SV so that I don't have to spend long periods of time actually manually mining things so this is the position we are in and the reason we're up here is that I want to get into the ship here oops I haven't got the thrusters on and we're going, we're going to put the get it just in on this corner landed and that would be brilliant the reason I'm putting the SV here is the fact that what I want to do is have a second pickup point because this POI does extend quite extensively out underground is in fact the lower area is a lot bigger than the upper area now the next thing that we need to think about is trying to find a the entrance because the entrance itself is hidden behind here but there's only the one if we go back work around in a well one way or another and what we're looking for is a way in now if you watch the previous video you'll be aware that i came in on the teleporter and cleared the top area ah there we are we found the entrance so we came in and cleared this area and of course what we've got to do is go down here and of course in a uh, a loot container we also found an epic shotgun so we've got a good collection of, of epic weapons i'm just thinking i'm going to take the tier two rocket launcher we don't really need the um, drill, which I've been using to pick a few things up. And I think we're ready to go. Got a fair amount of ammunition, which we're fully loaded because. And it now through here is a kind of area. I'm just going to show you it very quickly. Oops. There's not much through here. I think there's just a a room. Oh no, it might have changed. Hello. I think I'm just below him. He can't really hit me, but. It's <laughs> a bit more up here than it was before. But they put some turrets up here. That's pretty cool. But as far as I can remember, there isn't anything quite major here this just kind of goes up to a roof landing platform so we're not going to really spend any time working on that taking a little bit of damage but of course we come around here this is where you come in with the teleporter hello got a respawn here Where did you come from? There's no spawn point in here. And I think if you go up here, do a reload. There's like, oh, he's come from this mezzanine there. So he spawned up here and then dropped down. Uh, and we got a little bit of, uh, dump this into the MX. Uh, I've got a drill. Um, it's a 
These are mini guns. We can sell those for a little bit of cash. Yeah, so, so all the real loot is further down now. And of course, we've got to remember which way around the room to go now. Get round to here. Okay. You've also got free oxygen here as well, should you need it. Yeah. Might as well try our rocket launcher out. Oops. Can't get rid of him. Wait, the stuff. Mr. Bulletproof. Now, on the other side of this door is a great big columned room with various um, bug uglies and that in them. And some dogs as well. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get rid of the turrets. Ah, wait. Ah, ah gotcha. Hi, Mr. Minigun Man. The reason I'm just using the Tier 2 Pulse Rifle is I don't have that much in the way of laser ammunition. So, we just kind of clear that room. There's a door up this way. And still. Got him. Now there's an unusual one spawn point up there, which needs to go. If you can use the, the spawn point just there. Reload again. Gotcha. Um, got rid of the spawn point. A little bit of food. We'll take. I think that covers most of the this area, but we'll just double check. And we got a room through here to a medical centre, which is we can heal up in. I just want to make sure we've swept the entire room. As I say, you've got two doors now. You've got one down here, but you need to go through this one first. Otherwise, it the because this is where the game expects you to go. Plus, in getting control of this room is I think we will and um, we can just use the mid station here. Get you. I think all the med stations here are usable so if you get any type of disease or anything like that um, 
can do it. I think we're still in range of the Pioneer, so we can put this stuff directly into the bridge. Um, go into the constructor. Got to get some water some before we go much further because water is uh, getting a little bit low and I just don't really want to spend ages messing around with water generators. So we're going to have to try and find the water ast asteroid. I mean, one option will be to go back to what's it the starter system and mine some water from the asteroids around the uh, location. Okay. So there's a lot of loot in here that's worth picking up. Well, I'll shove that in there. I don't use the adrenaline shots that much anyway. Um, a little bit more there. So that means collecting the hydrogen is a way to uh, be able to make the advanced fuel cells. Um, general supplies. Um, what seems to come in groups at the moment. Um, and I think, oops, missed that one, didn't I? But not the stuff. I think we'll actually eat that. I've got quite a lot of emergency ration packs now, so, um, so we've now cleared this. Well, nope, got a little bit more. I think that clears this room. Hello, there's a doggo. There's a turret down the end. the nice thing about this position is you can come back and do that so I shouldn't get too complacent about that just a bite oh where did you come from the bite and if you're wondering I'm currently wearing heavy armor without a EVA boost, so got pretty good protection. Um, Pioneer raw food, just load this, and we'll just shove the rest of the stuff in the loot box. I think for the moment, and also all the way down this room here is other bits and pieces <laughs> you can kind of clear. This down, I say we just shove it all in. Oh, I'm just getting a bit dark now, so we'll turn the lights on. So, if you're short of basic medical supplies, this is not a bad kind of corridor to walk down. Not that I actually use it. I should really sell those these uh, adrenaline shots because I don't really use them. Maybe next time we're... Oh, wait, wait. A bit antisocial. Yeah, I should have cleared the room first. Here's the doggy out guy. Just do the. I think it's got more to do. About. Mm, nothing behind here, nothing but. Oh, there's one container here. Put it in. Just make sure. I think we're going to need the. Rocket launcher actually. 
Let's do a quick load of the rocket launcher. Oops, I think we we need to go up uh, an escalation at the moment, actually. So we're just going to go all the way back and heal up. Uh, I think there's a turret above us, isn't there? Oh, okay. Now this room gets uh, a little bit exciting. It sounds a bit like we've got a visitor in the form of a drone or something, but the the because the, both ships are deployed. It's quite cap they're quite capable of looking after themselves. Okay, let's just oh no. Gonna go back and heal up again. I'll be right back. Here we are, just going back through the room. Of course, we've got lots of loot in this room that's worth picking up. Let's make sure we get rid of all these. You and you. I think there's another oh, just there. Just make sure we get like everything in the room. Yeah. Also, you can see the level of radiation in here is not particularly that helpful either. Um, general supplies. Get a nice supply of here. And of course the temperature is very high as well so can't really hang around here too long even if I do look like I'm just casually strolling through here eventually we will start to overheat and we now got room here um, I think we're There's one on this side and another one on this side. Of course, yeah, do that. Oops. And what we'll do is we'll just change my positions. Come on. So this is the position where uh, have it go ah. Just pick these up. Uh, you snipe rounds. Uh, 
do I get you? Now, if I remember correctly, the ballroom doesn't have anyone in. It says, seems this, this, this seems more like a storage room, but looks like there's a lever on the wall, so what can we do it for? I think, I'm not sure if this room explodes, so get the loot box for, oh, look at that. Large um, like matrices. Um, let's certainly put that in the constructor. That in trade items. We've got some water miner cores. I think that's about it for the room. So we're just going to yank the. Uh, we need to find the other the other teleporter and use it. Right. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to go around and loot all this lot so that I don't have to um, keep coming back here. So we just shop, but most of this will go in. To, so I'm just going to loot all this lot. I and mean, it's all low level loot, you can see here. Nothing particularly that special. So we're going to go here. The other teleporter is on the other side of the main room. So this, and this is the reason why you come down here first and just grab as much as you can through here but if you're over endowed with uh, um, stuff you don't really need to loot these boxes but uh, might as well take it you never know when you might need it of course occasionally some of these boxes throws up uh, something special Although at the moment it's not exactly that special, but it might. There's a, a, I'll just shove it in there for the moment. I'm bound to find it again later on. And I think that's about it. So what we're going to do now is just make our way back through here. Don't think we've destroyed the core yet. I think that that the core is no. Now the core originally used to be behind the wall where the switch is, and when you flick that, you could blow your way through the wall and destroy and actually destroy the core. But I think because the teleporter's there, and you had players who actually did that and then switched off the teleporter. They made it into an admin call, I'm pretty sure. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. And we'll just come here. We'll just top everything up. We'll just take the opportunity to um, sort the mess out a little bit. And just keep one of those. Put that in there. Instructor, just upload some of this stuff. Um, raw food, just get rid of that. Food and meds, uh, put the cash and that in there. Um, the hot beverage, don't really need that. General supplies, um, ammo, that in there. Oops, I've got the. And structure it into that kind of empties out this area here. Got plenty of ammunition still, so what we do is just keep armed just in case that something's respawned. This is and so what we're gonna do now is go through this room. If I correct me, there's a like, pair of turrets just inside, so <laughs> There's another one, I think. There's a Xerxy guy in there as well. Wow, he got a pretty heavy shot on me. Might just back over and heal up. Gotcha. 
Where did you think you were going? Change to here, conserve ammunition. There's a turret. Feeding me from behind. Very antisocial. You. I'm pretty sure there's a turret up in one of these corners somewhere. Let's just see. Nope. There it is. I know there's one here somewhere. Get rid of you. Hello, doggo. Goodbye, doggo. Don't think we need to run back for the... Change. Look round. There's a oops. What's here? Now there's a room just to the left here, which well, I'll show it to you guys. Shoot a couple of health kits first. Go back up again. Like a shooting range in here, but it is not. I think there's just a couple of mechs right at the back here, but there's not not much in there. Now this is one way in, but you can also follow the passageway round. Wait for the reload to finish. Finish the shotty. So we're just going to go up through here. Say so both these doors lead to the same. Oh. All that checking for me. <laughs> and I think that cup just about covers it. I'm just going to change back to this one. Right, there's a, another like, turret inside. Good of you. Some med supplies. Okay, we got a whole lot of goodies here we can pick up on the way through. Multi charges, power coils, which now. Up here is a 
there's a turret just up in that corner. You can't see us, so we could probably get in with the sniper. Oops. Um, I think we've got to get rid of the railing that we can jump through because the railing effectively restricts the height. So, uh, take that, some ammunition, shove that in. Well, um, <laughs> I'll put that in trade items actually. Most of this is stuff that we're getting lots and lots of drills, which we probably won't need. We should be okay. We're into this room. There's, I think there's hostiles down there. And the teleporter's through that door there, and you open that with this. But is and this is the other one so if you come in this one you come up through here which is in some ways it's the quicker way to the teleporter and so that effectively completes the radar station what you've got here now is a teleporter which will take you to the next stage in the mission. Now, well, in fact, what we'll do is we'll go through, because I'm pretty sure it's a two-way teleporter. And what that this does is takes it through us to the Xeno mainframe. And we're on here. Now, we're not going to want to fix this. It seems like this station is taking a beating already. Locate the main axis. We're in, we're in hail. Now, you can, if you're feeling very confident, you can go and take this out on foot from using the teleporter but the trouble is is the loot situation so it's far better to actually bring the ships over and we're going to just come back and you can see what this does also by doing this you actually get back to the starting location um i mean i know i've lost a little bit of loot but now this is quite a big uh poi just want to try something out of curiosity guys this is totally irrelevant to the overall ser series but i just want to see whether they have made a change and whether this does have an admin core in it we are going to need a great big pile of explosives um so we're just going to come in here and just offload that where is my explosives? Where where did all my explosives go? So I had piles of it. Is it actually on the Did I put it in the yeah, we've got nineteen of them. We're gonna probably gonna need a lot. Now the core is about here or it used to be so what we're going to do is we're going to and just to show you these are armored concrete blocks so well, uh, i think if we concentrate on we doing right two more to do it and here's the core so if you really want to loot the place down there we are so you've now got, so if you really want the loot, in fact, I probably will come back and loot this before we leave because 
as I say, there's a lot of very good stuff in here. Like these, gen like these large generators. We've got fuel cells. We've got um, get chance to take get a little bit of a reward from having to destroyed it. <laughs> and there's oxygen tanks here as well. I don't know what the oxygen. Is. Yeah, I mean for for one or eight. So all this stuff in here of course we've got all you've also got all the a great supply of um blocks should you need them although i think a lot of them are actually um armored concrete a lot of it's concrete so you know, concrete isn't particularly that good you've got burps have gone too far of course you've got all the med bays in here which would be worth something as well and we'll just go out here. And we'll just get back to the ship. Come out of here. And of course, it's hailing out here, so we're going to get great damage. Uh, just get, yep, thank you, game. I just love snow planets with hail. I'm here. Normally I would just jump out, but I think we need to food and meds. So might as well just offload that. More food. Um, ammunition. Power off. Undercover as ASAP. heal up a bit and what I'm gonna we're gonna do now is turn the thrusters on and so here we are we're just coming up on the Xeno mainframe now this isn't an excessively difficult uh, POI but what I want to talk about is the issues associated with taking down a POI like that. Now, on the surface, if you've got a capital vessel, that um, you've got a capital vessel that is um, now on the surface. If you've got a capital vessel, it, it seems easy just to go up here, um, pull up like alongside it, and then just go charging in. The trouble with uh, big POIs like this there's always a chance you may fall off so what you always want to do is have a ship down on the ground so that on the vent those events when you actually uh, fall off it you've got a way to get back up again now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave the capital vessel on the ground mainly because I just can't be bothered to turn the guns off uh, we do need something to eat Um, uh -huh. that's it through the meds uh, just eat a burger and have one of these as well I'm going to take uh, some spiky thingies with me also uh, just take a couple of these um, fruit drinks I've got now another issue is that say you for example you find a an aerial POI. Now there's a thing called the unknown artifact which you can come across very early in the game and if you've only got a single SV what I suggest you do is if you come into the workshop and what you want to do is get a very simple um, SV something like that and then go to the factory just make sure that you've got enough in here to be able to make it for example you could here um, just not that there I'll just give you a demo of doing this and then uh, 
um, and of course the more you've got in the workshop the easier this is what this means is that should you accidentally fall off a POI in the early game you've only got one ship you've got another very basic ship to be able to get yourself out although I do recommend that it is a small SV of course the more you've got in the workshop the more sophisticated the ship you can use so that's something that you do want to take into consideration also the ability to manufacture a spare ship and I know this is really for in the late game if you if you've got a capital vessel and you're starting to get into very hostile areas and you may get into a space battle having the ability to create another ship when you if you do lose that um, if you do lose the ability to um, well if you do lose your capital vessel cut it out as I say that is more for later on when you've got your capital vessel and you are kind of exploring the wider um, process of things I want to make sure we've got plenty of fuel and away we go oops ouch this could be quite a fun UI to do actually make sure what you'll find is that you'll get blast it quite heavily as soon as you open this door with um, mechanoids and the icky little robot guys like these it doesn't pay to stand in this corridor while you reload now the Xeno mainframe consists of Three. Just get in behind here. And make sure I go over there. Ah, retreat down here. Once they're all up one end, um, ah, there's another one just around the corner here. that spiky thingy bob get my health back up again I think we've I think that this is control oh well of most this area just check still here trouble with this place is that you can hear things which are actually on the floor below I think I just don't have that much ammunition though that's the trouble I mean loot box wise I don't think there's that much on the floor on this floor here I think I've already done that guy I think this is mainly consoles and all that but you do want to loot everything you can find because when you trigger the switch this place blows up quite in a quite spectacular fashion and there is a little hole in the floor here which means you can even the odds a little bit like that 
And of course, what you can do is sit down and loot him. And what you'll see is here's the switch we're going for. But first, we're going to go up. Because, as I said, the. Um, When this place blows up, it blows up big time. I always have trouble getting into this thingy bob. Ah, get down. Hello. Some of these let me just kind of hide in here for the moment. Well, pop some of this stuff into the reload. Him. Oh, look at that. Um, CRM. Should be sure there was a an epic loot box or something down here. Ultra rare. There we are. Small optronics bridge. Some um, ammo. Probably appreciate. Fuel tanks we can't access at the moment. A couple of more loot boxes here. And go this way round. I think there's a. Okay, we'll just use the light rifle. Don't worry about F trying to recover these generators because they all blow up. Um, when the uh, you throw the core switch, uh, just some force fields, some um, cobalts. One more little quick run round. Let's make sure we got everything. Um, we get you. No, nope. that. And we did get you the ultra rare, yep. So we cleared the top, the top floor and the middle floor. What we got to do now is. Just gonna sit here um suck on some fruit juices. So it could use the health pack, but it's uh we'll just use these up and I'll be right back. Got reload ready. Right, the heart just hide here. Got the reload. Oh, wow, we're out of ammunition. Haha. <laughs> reload. Let's 
Somebody firing at me. Um, see if we can find him. Get rid of that. Oh, there you are. Let me just grab him. Grab this again. Just make sure we got everyone. Now we uh, just check the loot boxes. There's a little cluster here. Whoops. Oh, let's grab, grab that. Got some gold coins. A uh, couple of plants. Food. Um, get you. Nope. Bed kit. Some electronics that is I do these nope. take that take that that and that and I think that is about it Right, what we need to do is get in a position so we're facing the right way. Oh, that. Commander, I'm receiving a reply signal. Yes. And what we need to do is... Just one sentence. Glad you are here. Alex. Commander, someone has started the self-destruct. Head back to the teleporter. Uh, the explosion isn't as bad as I thought it'd be, but it's destroyed all the top level stuff. That's the reason why you need to be able to do it. I don't know whether it actually destroys the core. Let's just find out. But it still doesn't destroy the core, but um, things. It's back to the teleporter. Um, do we have to get to the teleporter? Let me just see. Uh, come on, game, you're annoying me. You should be able to. This is where I back to the tele back to the radar station, yeah. Use teleporter. Probably why it cores. This is where I embarrass myself because I destroyed the core in the other teleporter. Oh do that was stupidity, wasn't it? That would teach me to destroy the core in here, wouldn't it? Um that's okay, because I've got my little ship which we, we've got here. It's going to take me eight minutes to produce. Okay, guys, welcome back. It just occurred to me that I may run out of fuel. So I've only got the one fuel cell. And, of course, now I'm going to have to make fuel. Um, um, uh, what's it? Biofuel. And it's just occurred to me that the... Um, what's it? I may need to be able to cut some trees down. So I've made a, a survival tool. And what I'm trying to do is get enough carbon substrate to make a portable constructor. So I'm just going to... I think that should be enough. Yeah. Because one of the stings in the tail now is that to make biofuel, you need a portable constructor. And to make a portable constructor now, you need carbon substrate that's why i've kind of come back inside to demolish a, a few uh, bits and pieces of course if i hadn't had the power cell with me i would have had to resorted to doing this anyway luckily i've got control of this poi right so we've now finished the blueprints and the 
two two bob in doesn't get much more basic than this <laughs> we've got five percent fuel Got 64 minutes of fuel. I could turn this into a um, what we call it, uh, an, a miner, just by rebuilding it. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is fly back to our Silver Shade. So here we are. We're just approaching the Xeno mainframe. Now we've got another chicken and egg situation in the fact that my SV is up there and I want to get it down here but if I take this ship up then I end up leaving one ship floating in the sky but there is a little bit of a, a fix for this if you come to the registry and find this here and come down to control panel come here and just turn all the power off what should happen oops oh, this thing's a bit very unstable what you'll see is the the SV will crash to the ground. So if you're ever in a situation where you have fallen off something and your ship is stuck up high above the you, that's all you've got to do. While I was actually coming back here, I, I certainly thought is that I don't think this can dock because it's got no landing gear. What I am thinking is that this is now giving me the base components for a a mining ship. So, um, although we could technically take it all apart because it's quite literally. In fact, I might just scrap it for the components which we will then use for a mining ship. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to put the ship on top of here, put the power back on. We can dock and just put it there. So, life is back to normal. I've got a lot of stuff to sort out and a base to potentially loot and all sorts of other bits and pieces actually just turn the power off but this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming